Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here, back for another video. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. If you guys got any Lego, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys got. Today, we're reviewing the Lego Creator Expert Bookshop. This set was released this year in 2020 and retails for £149.99. It contains 2,504 pieces and has five minifigures. So those are the stats, let's take a look at the set. Okay, so let's take a look at the figures. First of all, we've got this guy. I think he's meant to be a cleaner or something. In all the pictures of the set, he's always the one on the ladder. So it seems like he's the handyman of the set. He's got a pair of scissors as well. He's got a nice red torso. Kind of reminds me of a lumberjack. Looks really nice. Some grey legs and some grey hair. And of course, these figures don't have the normal Creator Expert minifigure faces. So you can see that his face has got a beard on it. He's got a nice bit of back printing and no double-sided face. Next up, We've got a boy in his toy plane. Let's take a look at the toy plane first. It's quite a simple build, but it looks nice and colourful. It can be a bit of a challenge for the boy to hold on one of these areas. And because he's got the short legs, it can often overweight his figure and he can topple over. That's quite a minor criticism. And here's the boy's figure. He's got a really nice green scarf and a nice blue hat. I'll take off the scarf so you guys can see the torso. He's got a really nice torso with a banana design on it and some nice green short legs and some really nice back printing as well. As you can see, he also has a double-sided face, which unfortunately sticks out underneath his hat. Really, really annoying. The scarf doesn't cover it up either. Frustrating. Next up, we have this woman. She's got a really, really nice torso, some nice blue legs, and an awesome hairpiece. I absolutely love this hairpiece. I think it looks so good. I also gave her a microphone as well because it came spare in the set, and I thought it looked good with her figure. She has a double sided face and back printing as well. And of course, the big hair does cover the other side of her face, so I'm a huge fan of this figure. Next up, We've got this figure of the lady who lives in the apartment. She's got a really, really nice torso and some navy legs, a nice face and a cool hairpiece as well. Reminds me of Professor Umbridge. Ugh. She's got a double-sided face and some back printing as well. And the hair covers a double-sided face as well. Awesome. And finally for the figures, we've got this guy. He's got a flower because he's trying to impress the girl with the big hair. And he's got a book as well, Moby Brick. Very clever. And inside he's got this awesome printed tile. This set comes with two of them, and this is one of them. Honestly, I wish the set came with more. I absolutely love this tile. I think it looks so good. And as the set is literally a bookshop, I thought it would contain a few more of this piece, but well. He's got a really, really nice figure, a nice red torso with some suspenders and a tie, some nice brown legs, a very happy face, and a nice headpiece. Reminds me of Gilderoy Lockhart. Ugh. He's got a double-sided face and some nice back printing as well. And the hair covers the back of the face as well. Good stuff. Okay, so those are all the figures. Let's take a look at the set. Here you can see the street at the front of the buildings. We've got a really, really nice tree here with some leaves falling on the floor. You've even got a bird's nest with a bird in it there. Very nice. Outside the bookshop, you've got some books available there. If we take this off. This is the second one in the set. You've got a nice pattern down there as well in front of the bookshop. Over here, you've got the classic lamppost that comes in every Creator Expert modular set. And you've got some nice flowers in front of the apartment, as well as these very nice steps. And if we turn it around, you can see what's in the garden. Obviously, not much. The bookshop has nothing, as you can see, and the apartment building has a nice garden with some plants and a pumpkin. Another thing that I wasn't aware of when I bought this set is that it's actually two sets. Each building section is on a 16 by 32 plate instead of both buildings being on a 32 by 32. I thought that was a really nice idea and a good way of adding some customizability to your Lego city. Let's take a look at the insides of each building. First of all, the bookshop. As you can see here, it comes in three levels. Let's take a look at each one. On the first level, you can see you've got the actual bookshop. This little platform here comes off. It's almost kind of like a half level. You've got some books on the side there. This is what the first level of the bookshop looks like. You've got some books lining the walls there, a really nice spiral staircase, and of course the area where the cashier will sit and where you can buy some books. Around here, you can see that you've got another bookcase. I love the design of the floor on this level. Yellow, orange, and gold. Looks really good. On the second level, you can see the spiral staircase will come up through the gap there and continue on upwards. You've got a really, really nice grandfather clock and that clock face is printed. You've got a nice relaxing looking chair, a lamp, and a cup, as well as a cool carpet on the floor. And then out here, you've got a balcony with two seats and a table between them. Very nice. And this is the final level. It looks all solid, but you can simply slide this back bit off to reveal the inside. It's pretty simple to be honest. All you've got is a nice blue teal color bed and a small lizard in a tank. Nice color coordination there between the bed and the lizard as well. Okay, so that's the bookshop. Let's take a look at the apartment. Like the bookshop, the apartment is also on three levels. Let's take a look at each one. First of all, down here, you've got the basement. Here you've got a table with a bag and a cup. You've got some scissors, a really nice mouse trap there. It took me quite a while to figure out what this mini build was, but then I realized that the yellow part was meant to be cheese. Very clever. And around here, you've got a ladder. You've also got a doorway down here to get out into the garden. As you can see, unfortunately, the basement is too small for minifigures to stand up in. They're about half a brick too tall, so that's a bit annoying. The second level is a lot more detailed. When you're coming through the front door, you can see an umbrella and a hat hanging up. This door leads down to 
the basement. You've got a table there with a couple of cups, a teapot and a newspaper. You've got a sofa back there, a painting on the wall, a nice fireplace and this cupboard. Inside it appears to be some kind of drinks mechanism, maybe a coffee machine or something. Not too sure on that one. And then for the final level, like the bookshop, it's all closed off. But actually, this level is just in two pieces. A very interesting design. On this side, you can see it's a small balcony with a couple of plants there and a nice skylight above the stairs, which can be opened. On the other side, you can see you've got a really nice big bed there with a nice yellow bed sheet and a small dressing table with a lamp and a flower, as well as a nice painting on the wall. Because of the unique style of the final floor, you can actually access both levels at the same time if you only remove one half of the top level. Very clever. So there you have it. That right there is the bookshop. Overall, I'm going to give this set an 8.5 out of 10. I think the design of the bookshop is great. I think that building specifically is really the standout in this set. It also contains some awesome printed pieces, namely the signs for Birch Books, the page pieces, and the Moby Brick piece. I also really like the two-sided design of the set. So instead of having both buildings on a 32 by 32, you've got them each on a 32 by 16. This allows for way more customizability within your LEGO city, and I think it's a really, really great approach. And finally, I also love that they've got new minifigure faces. Instead of the usual boring Creator Expert minifigure head, I think that's a good change. I had two main issues with the set, and that's why I knocked it down to an 8.5. First of all, the basement and the apartment. I feel like they could have put way more detail in that basement, and they could have at least made it so you could stand up a figure in there. Right now, the basement looks pretty bare, and a figure can't even stand up in there. They might have been going for the whole cramped feel, but I would much rather that basement have been a brick taller and you could stand a figure in there. What do you guys think about that? As for the other criticism, as I said, the bookshop is great, but it only actually comes with one book. You only get two printed page pieces and only one book of Moby Brick. All the other bookshelves are just filled with tiles, which to me is a bit of a letdown. I really think Lego should have thrown way more books into the bookshop. It kind of feels like they cheaped out a little bit. So that's why I gave it an 8.5. What do you guys think about this set? How do you think it compares to other Creator Expert sets? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.